Thank you for joining us. This is Pete Brizio on behalf of Aqua FX, Aqua Engineering and Equipment. I uh, would like to talk today about some reverse osmosis and deionization uh, installation, as well as what to look for when you're uh, purchasing your filter. Um, to begin with, we have uh, our mixed bed DI resin, which is going to be color changing uh, indicating um, nuclear grade resin. Uh, it is important to use the color indicator as an indicator. Uh, you're always going to want to check the TDS after your RODI system and make sure you're at a zero uh, on your TDS meter. Um, first thing we'd like to display is our uh, one and a half refill bag. Um, this is how it's going to come, black sealed uh, so that light cannot transmit, uh, vacuum sealed so that air cannot get in and out. Uh, when you first get the resin, you can just open it up. It is double sealed, so you will not spill any resin. On the inside, you're going to find your one and a half times filters worth of uh, mixed bed DI resin. Um, what I like to do is just start off with my empty refillable shell, taking out the sponge of the shell and uh, kind of just starting with an empty spot. We can then open our bag of DI resin and start to fill the canister full of resin. I like to fill it up with about a third way lightly tap it maybe two to three times. It's important not to over tap it, over compact the resin as you can create a uh, difficulty for the water to actually pass through the filter. And then we'll go about another third of the, the bed depth. Another couple of taps. Ideally you'll be doing this over something where you can reclaim any of the resin that you've dropped. until finally we've got the DI canister filled up all the way. At which point I do another couple of taps. And you can see that after I've got the canister initially filled, I have enough resin for about another half of a container. So when you're ordering this, if you order two bags of resin, you will get three containers worth of uh, DI media. Um, at this point I'll give it another couple of taps, uh, taking the sponge, placing it into the canister, giving it a nice flush uh, feel with the outside of the refillable shell. Then you just take on your bottom and thread it on. And you should have a nice hand tightly packed DI canister. Uh, I don't feel any resin moving on the inside. It's not loose enough to be moving around, um, but it is tight enough that I've uh, packed as much resin as I can without uh, uh, inhibiting the ability for water to pass through the filter. Um, here I have some, some pre-packed filters as they would come from us. This is our new silicate blaster, uh, mixed bed DI resin coupled with anion resin to take care of folks with heavy silicates in the water. Uh, this is a traditional DI filter, which is just your uh, mixed bed resin. We also have the loose media uh, anion and cation resins for folks that like to keep your uh, bed separate. Um, these are not color indicated and they will need to be checked via TDS or conductivity uh, in order to assure that the resins are still good and not exhausted. Um, we also have uh, cubic feet of resin which we uh, offer. Um, we can go as many cubic feet as you like at a time. That basically concludes our first video. Um, this is going to be the first in a series, so we look forward to you tuning in and staying with us. Thank you.